Hey what's up everybody and welcome to this part 2 of the tutorial where I'm going to teach you my coloring process. Just a disclaimer, this process might change in the future because the 2.93 version of Blender is coming soon with some really good improvements for the green pencil. And for what I've seen so far, the fill tool has been reworked for a better experience. For more info, the link will be in my description. Big shout out to Grid Pencil team, Antonio Vasquez, Daniel Martinez Lara, Matias Mendiola for their hard work on these improvements. Thank you so much. Let's see anyway how my coloring process looks like in the 2.9 wall. The first thing is to organize your layers. Be sure to always have your line up layer above the fields layer and be careful on which layer you're working on. Now, go to draw mode to start coloring. Select the fill tool. Go to the material tab and choose the one called solid fill. This default material had the property to fill color. You can verify it with the check mark on the fill option. The base color indicates the color for this material. I used to make many fills material for coloring, but with the vertex color feature, it's way more convenient to switch between colors. By the way, to be able to see colors, you have to set the render viewport to material preview. Now all you have to do is to pick your color and fill. You might experiment some issues and for that you have to know few things. First, the fill tool has some limitation. It only fills what is inside the viewport. Even if your drawing is well closed and the viewport cropped, the field won't continue any further. Just be aware of it. Second, if your lines are not closed properly, the field might pass throughout some gaps. So be sure to localize them and close them. Third, the fill tool has a setting called leak size. It's the size of the pixel to consider the leak closed. Here an example of it. It's better to have it between 1 to 2. Fourth, don't use the fill tool too far from your drawing. Be at a reasonable distance to do it, otherwise the fill won't be as clean as it's supposed to. Fifth, if you realize lately that you want to delete a fill section, you can use the eraser. Or you can make a selection and delete it. You also have the possibility to use the sculpt mode to refine and correct the fill section if needed. So keep that in mind if you're dealing with these situations. If you want to get the colors from a reference, you can make your own personal palette. Just pull out a new window at any corner of your choice and set it to image editor. From there, open the image of your choice. Then create a new palette, pick any color from your reference like I do and save it. At least you will be sure to use the same exact color anytime. At this stage, I'm just coloring the characters without taking care about cell shading. So for now, you will get a flat result. You probably noticed in some of my work that I do cell shading by drawing a second line art. For this step, I created a similar material based on the line art materials, but especially for the cell shading lines. Those lines are just a guide and won't appear at the end, so let's draw them on a different layer. Now the tip for making the shadows real quick. Create a new layer above the fill layer, set the blend mode to multiply, choose any color near to the dark tones 
and fill all the shadow parts with it. You can tweak the opacity to balance it as your preference. For the lights, you can follow the same settings as the shadows but with the blend mode set on divide. Then fill with any color close to the bright tones. After you're done, you can hide the cell shading lines layers to see the result. It's possible that you might do some correction, but at this stage, the work is mostly finished. That's it for my coloring process, it's really tedious and I hope this guide will help you to progress into your own journey. I wish we won't have to deal again with those issues in the future, because coloring that way for animation can turn the process into a nightmare. I will leave you on this coloring time lapse and I will see you soon for a new tutorial. Thank you so much, peace.